Hey, well, welcome to another show. What the fuck happens? You do be this community and stick and fun. Yeah. Um, whatever. Interesting evening. That really was quite adequate. Um, subjects, uh, yeah, yeah, just bounced around and, uh, yeah, it was okay ish. <laughs> yeah, I gotta organize it better still, but. Some of the regulars, uh, Sub DNA and uh, Piero for a while, and some other guy in the beginning that was pretty good, and <clears throat> really was. Oh man, that was a bad one. Ooh, <laughs> that goddamn got me good. Ooh, you nasty hidden bastard somewhere in here. Yeah, this bastard right here. You bastard. Fucking bastard stripper. Anyway, ooh, that'll leave a mark. Anyway, damn deers, they eat the leaves off the things and then we can't see them. Um, anyway, um, that's your problem. So, um, yeah, what was I going to say? Yeah, so, yeah, it's hard to paraphrase um, these conversations. Because they are, so, you know, it's all kind of the same in some respects. You just keep walking through the, the philosophy part and, um, you know, we've kind of been over it so many times. Uh, and then, um, you know, there's these side conversations on how to communicate with the human race and how to, you know, better structure uh, communication and all that kind of stuff. So it's sort of interesting. But, it's, it seems to be moving in, a, you know, in some sort of productive direction, but I, I'm just not, you know, I wouldn't count on it, but I'm hopeful. So anyway, um, it seems, just feels like it's got some kind of purpose to it. It's going down. Um, anyway, um, I just drank soda. Yeah. Um, anyway, um... So what else is news? Yeah, so the rest of the news is just the, the stupid arguments that have been going on that may never <laughs> be foreseeable, no foreseeable ending. Um, and I suppose I have to make something more constructive out of it. You know, it's back to this whole cigarette argument. and It's just so ironic because it's sort of like the suffering sucks argument. You're just saying, why do I have to argue about the part that's obvious? I mean, it's obvious that cigarettes are insanely expensive <laughs> you know it's just kind of obvious um, and uh, yeah I just don't you know why should that, that part shouldn't even be part of the argument the argument is whether or not cigarettes should be insanely expensive compared to other things that aren't insanely expensive and uh, you know that's sort of the argument um, but you know you can't stay on the subject with these people, and so you have to just get bogged down in an argument that shouldn't be taking place. I mean, the one thing about the cigarette text I'll just say as a notice was, I was really surprised at the 18 cents that were in taxes uh, in 1970, which was almost half the price of cigarettes. So they were already taxing them way, way, way too high. Um, you know, just it's, it's excessive taxation right there. Um, still, back then, and uh, that only just becomes worse, you know, as they, it's just like gas prices or something, you know, once they have an excuse to raise the prices and never go back down again, kind of thing, with the oil companies, and it just seems obvious that they're just exploiting the higher prices to make a higher profit, seems obvious to me, you know, and, uh, you know, there's, <laughs> you know, that's like instant inflation. Uh, when that process happens. So anyway, um, but yeah, I'll have to come up with some visual aids or something. <laughs> you know, to make it, because there's all this disagreement about like even the production cost of a pack of cigarettes. You know, the prices are ranging all over the place. And uh, so somewhere we've got to find the real number. So anyway, so I don't want to get bogged down in that subject. There's no point in having the conversation. It's clear that no one gives a fuck. Even most smokers can't seem to give a fuck, which I can't understand. People are conceding they've been driven out of their liberty by the price, and yet they'll say, well, whatever. 
Uh, seems real American to me. Um, and I just don't understand that attitude of, oh, it's okay. Go ahead, start taxing something else. Now that I quit, now if I quit smoking, you'll just tax something else I do, right? And then you'll tax the next thing I do, right? Because that's how the country works. The rich don't pay taxes and everybody else just gets taxed out of their liberty. Yeah, okay. What a great country. Not. Um, so, yeah, I just don't understand the conversation at all. I don't understand the lack of motivation uh, among cigarette smokers. It's just whatever, fuckers. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it just kind of points out that cigarette smokers are, in fact, losers. Um, you know, it, it just makes it clear that, you know, they're even too stupid to figure out they're getting fucked and to complain about it. They can't even manage that one. So, they're so dysfunctional. Which makes the tax even more egregious because cigarette smokers aren't only just retarded. I mean, just addicted. <laughs> you know, they're also retarded. So you're taxing retards. Which seems really unfair. Uh, but anyway. So there's that subject. Uh, then there's the conference report thing. Uh, you know, about, uh, you know, who has a right to call who an ignorant cunt. <laughs> yeah, that kind of thing. Um, you know, who's rude, you know, which is a kind of a funny concept for me just because it's, yeah, I'm overtly, fairly, honestly rude, where these other people play the rude game, you know, with their pinky out and uh, pretend they're not being rude, which is really... Hilarious. I mean, there's nothing more, for me anyway, personally, I find rude or obnoxious than patronizing motherfuckers. And, uh, yeah, they got, they got that condition in spades. Uh, we don't think so, do we? You know, that Wii game they play. <laughs> you know, yeah, fuck you. Uh, Nietzsche had a lot of that in his books. Um, anyway, we the elitist fuckwits who never really had a job. Um, anyway, separate subject. Um, okay, what next? Uh, yeah, there was some other bullshit conversation with somebody, right? I said it'll come to me eventually, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it seems to me I was making a lot of videos. It had to be to somebody or about something. Um, so anyway, but yeah, there were some good videos, I have to concede. I, I think I, I made a couple of videos just doing the kind of the satirical but um, truthful rant on the human condition. You know, one of them, Tentacle something or other in the title, and the other one was whatever the other one was before that. <laughs> yeah, they were pretty good videos. And uh, kind of just pointing out that, uh, you know, the, the, yeah, that we, the thing that we are, the, the psychology, at its roots, is very, very crude. It's, we're still just lizards. Oh, yeah, it came out sort of in the Antano Damasio videos. And uh, it's been good for me to watch these videos of his just because it gets me, it provokes some thoughts, which is, uh, you know, interesting. So, uh, there has been some value in it. Um, you know, you kind of forget that there are people that can make, <laughs> you know, intelligent arguments instead of the YouTube bullshit. Um, but that they can also be saying things, you know, not, not enough, incompletely, falling short of getting to the real core of it. Just kind of dancing around it. And, uh, I mean, so one of those little observations was, you know, I was watching it and to myself, I'm going to probably play the video and probably remake this point, but I don't know, we'll see, time-wise and everything. Um, I don't know if I want to re-go through material I already watched. Might want to try to find new material. But anyway, um, there's just some conversation about, uh, the evolution of organisms. And, uh, you know, we got to multicellular... And uh, it just occurred to me that, uh, you know, one of the things we don't think about in the stages of evolution is that there was a, a physical size limitation on, say, amoebas. 
on the single cell design. The single cell had a structural limitation. Um, you know, a water droplet can only be so big and then gravity crushes it. And it's the same kind of thing for a lot of these single-celled organisms is they can't get too big or they collapse into their own weight because they don't really have a structure holding them together. They're being held together by molecular forces and, uh, you know, at a certain stress those forces break down. And uh, so you couldn't have, you know, the giant amoeba isn't really a, a practical um, uh, terrestrial design. And uh, so then, you know, multicellularity made it possible to make big things. And so that's really all the difference is, is it had to migrate to multicellularity to um, make the bigger beasties. Uh, but, uh, you know, in theory, the simpler designs of the, the single-celled organisms would probably kick our ass. They're probably a, a better evolutionary design, so there would have been kind of zero evolution, or very little evolution, in the sense that uh, it might not have ever broke free uh, of that uh, simplicity of design to keep it simple, stupid kind of preference uh, if they could have migrated it to this larger scale. And uh, obviously it couldn't. So it's sort of an interesting, uh, whatever the right word is for it, it's sort of an interesting way to look at it anyway in terms of why things became multicellular. And it also led me to start thinking about ant colonies and the fact that they're, they're almost like an animal in themselves. You know, they're, they're like the cells have been broken off. And even though the individual ants are, in fact, multicellular individual creatures, their function is almost like, you know, an organ, a system of of a network, you know, like, a, you know, there's some ants doing the liver thing and some ants doing the kidney thing and some ants doing the leg thing and, you know, they're, they're almost like a constructed animal. So it's like the next phase of the uh, how do you get bigger question and that would be where you get bigger by, uh, you know, again, breaking yourself free of the limitations of gravity and, uh, the fact that you're a lot harder to pop as a bubble, you know, if you have an awful lot of pieces, uh, that kind of thing. And so, you know, but ants are an organism on like almost two levels. You know, they're an organism as individual ants, but they're also an organism uh, as a colony uh, and such. So anyway, that's a little bit, you know, doing a video in the video again, which I don't like when I do that. Sorry, because, you know, maybe you hate that kind of shit. But if you hate that kind of shit, you're probably an asshole, so it's probably okay. So anyway, let's see if there's any other news. Uh, some new douchebag did a cigarette video, I don't know. I'll have to respond to that. He says the production cost of cigarettes is $4 a pack. <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> what? Come on. Get me serious here. Uh, so, just, uh, I don't know, probably no point, because I've already alliterated, no one cares, so why am I bothering, uh, but whatever. Um, you know, in Skeptical Heretic, of course, it makes a response video vacuous, complaining that New Jersey was included as part of New England. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, fuck. I was actually thinking about some of that state stuff the other day, though. He said no states have uh, attempted to merge, as far as I know. And I was thinking maybe we should do some merging. <laughs> you know, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania. Maybe we should merge into a giant mega state and then just kick these fuckers' asses. I mean, just, you know, just shout New Hampshire into the fucking ocean and, uh, you know, all these little uppity New England does. We should just drown them out in our shadow. 
<laughs> yeah, we'll just be the big, ugly Texas of New England. Uh, that would be so much fun. Yeah, so anyway, but I think the idea of a mega state, you know, they might as well just start doing that shit. You know, it's time to, you know, it's time to get ourselves grouped up, you know, so we can have a, a right kind of, uh, you know, war. You know, let's get ourselves ready for the next civil war. Um, but anyway, just, uh, you know, it just occurred to me that this is probably, you know, states really want to, get the get an edge might be the way to get an edge is to mega rise your population uh, and you get some real power so anyway I guess that's a leaf I believe it is all right so, yeah it was very interesting it's a brown leaf in brown mud very fascinating anyway Jeez. All right, so I know there's some other shit I should have gotten to, but I didn't. I did a video on the wayward thing. It's kind of a done and been there, done that. Who cares, whatever. La, la, la. So enough of that shit. Um, yeah, they're really, it's just all the little fights here and there. Uh, you know, little dramas. And uh, this much of noise from my perspective. So... Still working on trying to get myself organized. Still to get back to the philosopher roundtable stuff. Got some editing to do, and uh, you know, make some new videos and keep pushing and see if we can get some other people to join in and blah blah blah. So, see what happens. Just another day in YouTube life and such, and so forth and whatnot. So, until next time. Kind of chilly today. I don't know if I'm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I have the guts to go in that water. Cold. Uh, so anyway, until next time. Inside.